well, it, the NBA season's over. And you know what? I have to do this. What if LeBron James joins the Portland Trailblazers? I know what you're going to say. That's not going to happen. And you know what? I don't think it's going to happen. But just, just, let's just listen. Just listen. LeBron James is a great basketball player. Don't get me wrong. But he needs help. And if you guys remember the interview that he had in the Portland Trailblazers, you know what? Here, let me find it for you. Um, Underestimated. No, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. But he definitely uses that. I like I like how he uses that. But uh, I mean, true. If you're a, if you're a true basketball, which is not a lot of not a lot of true basketball minds and people that understand the game. Uh, but for me, I understand it. I know. Uh, let me give me Damian Lillard. I'll show you how I'll show you how appreciated he'll be. Give me Damian Lillard, and I'll show you how appreciated he is, how special he is. To me, here's a good question. Why would he just mention Damian Lillard, but yet he doesn't mention Isaiah Thomas, Russell Westbrook? All year, he only mentioned Damian Lillard, and none of those guys. Yeah, the banner that over there says LeBron Lillard needs a third option because the fans have now built billboards in Portland, Oregon. And that's great. Could you just imagine these guys together? I mean, there's been more evidence of LeBron probably joining Portland. Who remembers the tweet that said about Shabazz Napier from LeBron saying, that is my favorite player coming out of the draft? Hmm. This man would help the Blazers a lot. Now, I know what I said earlier. I know he won't probably come, but that would have been an amazing thing for the Portland Trail Blazers. Because here's a good question. You guys can leave in the comments down below. If LeBron goes to Portland. Let's say he does. Would you favor Golden State? Houston? Or a Blazer team with LeBron? To win the Western Conference? What do you guys think? I mean, think about this lineup as well. Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Houston Nurkic if he stays, LeBron James, Al Farouk Aminu. That would be a sick lineup. And that would be so great for the team. But that's it. Like I said, I don't think it's really going to happen. But he would get Damian Lillard. And ever since 2012, against the Warriors, Damian Lillard is the highest... The guy who is, a, is the only player with the most points against the Warriors in his career. He averages through his career against the Warriors 36.7 points. That is right now the best in the NBA. Better than Westbrook. Better than D Durant when he was with OKC. Better than Anthony Davis. James Harden. LeBron, I believe, is the second. So if you have these two guys together, would the Portland actually win the Western Conference? Now, yes, Portland does not have enough money, but you, they're trying to trade Myers Leonard, and they got four teams right now. That's Milwaukee, that is Cleveland, the Magic, and the Knicks. And Miami is somewhat questionable. 
So if Portland can make the cap space, even you might trade Harkless, and he's a decent small forward, get LeBron to join, then it would be a scary lineup. But I, I like I, I know I know LeBron won't go to Portland. I love the Blazers, and I'm a LeBron James fan. But there's probably no way. But if he somehow does, I think the NBA would be saved because he would have two powerhouses in Portland with LeBron James and the Rockets with Harden and CP3 against the Warriors. So. That would be a good thing for the NBA. And it could also help the Eastern Conference. What do you guys think? Like I said, I know we all know that this won't happen. But if it does, let's say this happens. Leave a comment down below. Who would you favor? In a Golden State, a Houston Rockets, or a LeBron J a Portland it with Portland with LeBron with LeBron James. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Share this with your friends. Subscribe for me for more videos like this one. This is TGTV Tank Mode. Signing off.